Hello, welcome again. Today we are handling another topic and that is the day of light, the day of light. I believe you are going to be blessed and you're being blessed by these videos. Please let me know in the comment section what needs to be adjusted and uh, God will bless us all. So, the day of light. Every one of us has this day of light. The Bible says, uh, arise and shine. For your light has come. The glory of the Lord is upon you. Listen. It is your light that has come. It is a personal light. That light is not for everyone. It is for you specifically. That is why you can be in one place with a thousand people. But only one or ten people come out of that place with something. Because their lights have come. You need your light. Don't come and share with me my light. Or don't go to share with the other people their light. You have your own. There is that which God had uh, placed for you. Your own light. Strive for your light. Anyone who comes to share with me or with any other person their light, they will become laborers or helpers. To that kind of a person to help him rise because that is his light in the realms of the spirit that is his light listen kings will come to the brightness of your light kings only come when that light is bright they are not interested with light because they are already having their own light and that is why they are called kings but now brightness of your light makes the difference that is why they will come to you because they also want their lives to be brighter and brighter and brighter daily. Kings are not coming to you because your light has not come yet. Or it has come but it is not bright enough. Have you ever wondered why is it that people are not placing demand on the grace that I carry? Why is it that no one is seeing what God is doing through me? The reason is your light maybe it has not come or it has come but it is not bright enough to attract the attention of the king of the of kings light can come to me light can come to me and in the same place you are with me yet you don't see that light listen light is personal how light comes to people is also different you are arising and shining is tied to your light and not our light. Remember, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1. The Bible says, Arise and shine. For your light, your light, it is your light. Not our light. It is your light. It is your light that has come. Not our light. It is not a group thing. It is not a collective light. It is a personal light. So, arise and shine for your light, not our light. Your light has come. People don't arise and shine as a group, but as an individual. You will arise and shine as an individual because revelation is personal and progressive. I don't know if somebody got that. Listen, seek for your light. The day your personal light comes, no matter what, you will shine. The problem comes when your light has come, yet you do not know that your light has come. Imagine being in light and you don't know that this light is mine. I hate ignorance. Arise and shine. For all because your light has come. This man, or oh, the writer, the person who wrote Isaiah 61, 60, he was telling the people to arise and shine because their light had come. But seemingly, these people that he was telling to arise and shine were not aware that their light had come. They were still operating as usual and, and people who do not know that their light has come. People don't arise and shine because they want it to or because they, want, they have worked so hard. You can work hard and smart but still fail. If working hard was the only factor that makes men to arise and shine in this kingdom, 
then African mothers could have risen and shown long time ago. Our African mothers work so hard, but they still die poor. Why? Because it is not hard work that makes men to arise and shine. It is light that does the rising and the shining of men. Light came upon the white and they came up with machines. Look, listen, look at how through machines, the white, the European countries, look at how through the machines, they are shining today. But before the machines came, everything was manual. Hard work is not a factor to consider when it comes to arising and shining. Listen to me and listen good. Everyone can, ask, can say what you want to say. This is what I'm telling you. Hard work is not a factor to consider when it comes to rising and shining. The factor is light. Light is knowledge. Light is wisdom. Light is power. Light. So light is the factor here. Labor. You can buy or uh, uh, you can hire labor when you already have the light to arise and shine. How many men have gone to banks and requested for money to fund their projects, yet they had no cash at hand? And imagine the banks gave them such loans with collaterals of their land title deeds. And after a period of time, they went, made money, and later took the loan and the interest back to the bank and picked their title deeds. And today, they are billionaires. Listen, labor or hard work is not a factor when there is light. It, is all, it only becomes a factor in the absence of light. I will come up again. Labor or hard work is not a factor when it comes to rising and shining of men. It is not a factor. Though it is there, it is something that can be needed. But it is not necessarily a factor that if you are to arise and shine, you must be a man of hard work or you have to, be, be a, you have to look for labor. What is the factor here is light. When light has come, you can even hire men to work for you. And through their energy, you will produce things. You will be productive. From their energy and what they have produced, you will buy, sell, sell, and get money and pay them. So it is about light. It is about knowledge. Listen. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. People arise and shine because their lights have come. The Bible says, arise and shine, for your light has come. It does not say, arise and shine, for our light has come. The Bible has personified it to your light. Listen, every one of us has a specific assignment before God. Yes, there is classmates. We can be roommates. We can be homemates. Any other thing, we can be so many mates. But... There are no assignment mates. There are no grace mates. Even if all of you are drivers, listen to this example. Even if all of us or all of you are drivers in the same company, but not all of you will drive the same people. Not all of you will drive uh, uh, lorries. Others will drive personal vehicles. Others will drive uh, the bulldozers. You see? So even in life, if everybody's a driver, we can still not all be, be drivers for buses. Others will drive politicians. Others will drive school buses. Others will drive company officials. And it is So assignments cannot be the same. Our assignment is different. We cannot be all the same. We can't all be businessmen. <laughs> no, it is not possible. Not all of us can be doctors at the same time. The Bible says, he called some to be apostles, others prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. On the day you are light, or on the day you will get to know your call and what God destined for you, then that is the day your light shall have come. The day you will get to know what you are supposed to do in this life, 
The day you will know your purpose in this life, that is the day that your light shall have come. After that light or knowledge or understanding has come over you, no matter what, you will use that knowledge to arise and definitely you will shine. The day you know or get a prophetic word or direction on what you are or you're, you're, you're passionate and uh, or know what you are supposed to do, whether to be a doctor or a business person or a police officer, then that is the day your light shall have come. With that light, it will be, uh, it will lighten, it will enlighten your path to arise and shine. Listen. Don't wait for the day of your light. There is no such days in this life. It is the day for your light. Don't wait for our day. Don't wait for the day of our light. Don't wait for the day of our light. Those days for our lives, it is not there. What the days that are there is the day for your light. Personal light. Personal light. So, the day for your light, the personal one, God does not call people as a group. It is always personal. The day of your self-discovery, the day of your self-discovery is the day your light has come. The day you will just know who you are supposed to be in this life. The day you will know who you are. That is the day for your light. One famous historian said, there are two important days in a person's life. The day you were born and the day you knew why you were born. That day you get to know why you were born. You are signed. That is the day your light shall have come. From that day you will arise and start shining. Anytime you get a given knowledge or understanding or an information that is not known to many people, just listen to me. And uh, through this secret or through that information, you arise and shine in a certain uh, area, either in business or in career or anywhere. Then that information or that secret is the light that has come for you. It is your light. Most of all primary or high school uh, mottos were education is light or knowledge is power. Through education, you will be enlightened. Light as uh, oh, light shall come over you, and your lifestyle and behavior and how you view things will change. Listen, education is power. Education is power. Power is energy. Energy uh, to do anything. For anything to be built, it requires energy. Energy or education gives light, and through that light, you discover this energy to arise and to shine. The reason why you are not shining is because you have refused to call for your light to come to you. You are in the wrong profession, you are in the wrong mentorship programs, wrong associations, and everything about you is just wrong. Yet you are waiting for your light to come so that you can arise and shine. Birds of the same feather, they say they flock together. Two blind men cannot lead each other. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, The Lord declared that he knew the plans that are the thoughts that he has for you. They are to make you prosperous. Seek to know this thought of God about you. That thought will come as an idea. It can, as, it can come as a teaching like this one. It can be as a passion, what you are passionate about, or a desire. When it comes on you, we shall say you are light has come. Every inventor or innovator received an idea and we see the result of that idea. That idea is light. The day that light came on him, that is the day his light came. The day that idea came on him, that is the day his light came. And as a result, uh, we are seeing them shining. Are they not shining? Of course they are shining. There is no inventor who is not shining. We read them. We read them in books. We see them daily in the social media. They will remain in our books of history forever. As long as the world exists, they will still be there. Is this not a way of arising and shining? It is. 
So light comes in a personal way. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Don't wait for your light. Don't wait for our light. It will never come. Coping and trying to do what others are doing or competing with others is a sign that you have not received your li own light. Light will distinguish man. In light, we can know who is A and who is B. If you are still jealous of other people's progress in this life, it is a sign that your own light has not come to you yet. The day it will come, automatically, if you know how to engage the principle that guides it, you will shine in what you are doing. I say thank you so much for listening to this. I know you have been blessed. You have been impacted. God bless you. Bye.